It's that time, guys. We're ready for this road trip. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, this Labor Day weekend, we have decided to do a Govi outdoor permanent lighting installation. I've recently made a post on the community for you to vote where we would be traveling. If you've guessed Dallas, Texas, then you nailed it. So to be specific, we're in Frisco. In this video, we'll show the process of installation and planning with detailed information to the install. You will find all the product links in the description. If you're finding this content useful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. Let's go meet with the homeowner. Hey Andrew, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Hey, thank you for calling us uh, out here. Sure. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's walk over here real quick. So, Andrew, why Gobi? Well, we used to put up Christmas lights every year, take them back down again, and we're looking for a permanent solution. And uh, have been investigating it and researching it for about uh, probably six, seven months now, and looked at the competition, looked at what was out there, and Gobi won every time I was looking. Ease of the app. The, the flexibility, what it can do, and and, and to be quite honest, uh, uh, it does more than some of the competition that is almost double the price. So awesome. that's why we made the choice, and especially after watching your YouTube channel, uh, convinced me 100%. Awesome. Well, I have to agree. You know, Govi is a great product. It's it, it, it's always improving, and, and you can do everything within the app. So I'm looking forward to the install. Are you? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Let's go, guys. All right. All right, everyone. The way we're going to do this is we're going to drill a hole right in that back area, bring the 12 foot extension up here, and that will be one controller. And then the next one, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take a controller on this side and with the, with the power supply, run our lights up here all the way down to here. And then you're wondering how are we going to do this this little area right here what we're doing is we're going to start our our end of our strand here come up down this way and then run up the gutter here and tap into the attic where we will run a 12 foot extension maybe two 12 foot extensions and then run it back up to the the top lights right over there and connect with that one all right so let's get started with the video All right, guys, we're gonna be running this 12 foot extension up here. Gonna run it right underneath that flash in there. We can hide it. And then we'll take it up here. 
all of that will be tied down with that commercial glue gun like in my last videos and then we're gonna drill a small hole right there just enough to where we can pass this line through it and once we put once we drill that hole then that's where the controller and power supply will be attaching inside the attic so I will be shooting a video on that shortly So we got the line cut there, we're going to be doing a custom jump here, got the lights ran here. Like I've mentioned in my other videos, we're going to be placing always a light at the peak. So we have that wall washing of light and we started with one here, ran two here and cut, then we come over here and ran two there. So keep everything uniform. Did a cut here, and now we'll be transitioning to this bottom here as well. All right, so like I had mentioned here, when I was showing you earlier how we're gonna lay this one out, we're gonna go ahead and add a light right there in the center. That center is six lights from a full strand of 12. So we're gonna put that six light right there and come down. Then we're gonna place one light on the side here and then one light underneath. And over here, on this side, we'll come down, continue with the seventh light over 17 inches, come down here, it'll match up like on the other side, one on the side here, one on the bottom here. But as we have mentioned in the other videos, groups of four, and we have a scenario here where we'll end up having to hide that one light behind that flashing. You do not want to cut that last light because it will not work. This is what we're talking about the groups of four. So here's that garage install like we had mentioned 
light on the side, one on the bottom. Came up here, ran the, the strand. Here's that one on the side, just like this one on this side. And come back over here, put one light here. We're gonna tidy up that line. And now we're, we, have, we have that one light hidden behind that flashing light display. All right, I'm showing you this because I'm gonna be pulling the wire off of this cord as an example. So I wanted to show you an example on what I'm doing here. If you ever run into a situation like this where you have a vent for the attic, you're gonna have to end up doing something like this. It, it'll work. You just gotta make sure you put some tie straps on the side, on, on each side, one on the right, one on the left. And all you're gonna do basically is stick it right in here. There's a screen in the back of that, that vent. All you're gonna do is just get your wire cutters, go on from on this side, and just grab that wire and pull it down. And grab your wire cutters and just spin it like this and it'll tighten up. And then after that, all we're gonna do is just cut off the excess. Make sure you don't cut the, the line. And just do, do something like that so that we can uh you know you, you cannot use the clips here it will not work and you cannot use the finishing neller the brad neller to to finish that off so this is what i recommend you use in order to get this uh attached to that vent all right so that's what it looks like after i finish tying it down like I'd mentioned, both sides are tied down. And right now I have this little lip here holding down the light to keep it straight. So that way you still can shine on the wall two inches, two to four inches. So yeah, that, that'll hold up the life, lifespan of the lights. That'll work. And then we're just going to go ahead and continue on back this way, anchoring all the lights. All right, guys, this one strand is installed. Right now we have the connection there. The light is kind of set back a little bit because we're going to put one, one more light on the front here. That will be on the new strand. But here's this strand here. Zoom it in so you can see. Here's that one area like I had mentioned with the tie straps. Back this way. and we entered right through that vent. That is where the power supply and the controller will be connecting to.
Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. Hey, oh, we're, uh, what did I say I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> There you go, do the dance.